so loud. You know we're not supposed to be cooking in here? It'll be done pretty soon. Good. What is that? That's a cigar. Mr. Cavoli had a baby, gave me a cigar. I didn't know you smoked. I'm not smoking. Well, you got a cigar in your mouth. I got my shoes on my feet, but I'm not walking. Oh, I'll get it. Mm -hmm. Maya, didn't you forget something? Oh, yes. <laughs> not the cigar, your pants. Oh, my pants. Oh, just a minute. Just a minute. Hiya, Mac. Hi. This is not a personal call. I'm here on official business. This is National Fire Prevention Week. And I have been appointed the fire inspector for this block. Well, congratulations. Now, like I was saying, there have been a number of complaints from your neighbors that various cooking odors have been coming from these premises. Now, you understand, of course, that you are not allowed to cook in here. Oh, we don't cook. Oh, no, never. Good. Now, look at this accumulation of oily rags. This is a definite fire hazard. This has to go. Oh, Maya, get rid of the rags. We were cleaning our motorcycle with it we brought up here. Oh, I'm surprised that you're doing a thing like that. You should know better. And those newspapers. Oh, Maya, the, uh, the, the newspapers. Well, we were waiting until we had a big enough... Uh, yes, uh, but don't you understand that this place only has one means of exit? Oh, yeah. And those definitely have to be gotten rid of. Don't you understand? That's a fire hazard. Oh, yes, well, we'll I'm definitely... I'm surprised at you. Yes, I can hardly walk a lot. Smell smoke? Smoke? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, that's probably Meyer's cigar. Mm -hmm. You know that Meyer smoke? Oh, yes, he smokes a lot, incessantly. Yes. You should get a fire extinguisher. Oh, a fire yeah. extinguisher, yeah. exactly. It smells like he's smoking old clothes. Old clothes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, what is this? That, oh, uh, well, well, this electrical appliance. Yeah, right? well, trailing along the floor yeah, where well, people are walking, and it seems to be going right up into the... Yes! Oh, ow! Ow! Oh. <laughs> now, there will be a ticket for damaging the officer while in the performance of his duty. Uh -huh. There will be a ticket for improper care of an electrical appliance. Uh -huh. There will be a ticket for an accumulation of oily rags. Uh -huh. There will be a ticket for allowing newspapers for a fire hazard. Now, I want this place all cleaned up in two hours, otherwise I'm closing it down. Yes, sir, it will be done in two hours. You better, because you're giving this neighborhood a bad name. <laughs> Oh, good, good. All right, stand back. This fire extinguisher is empty. Well, I got it used. Oh, here it is. To refill extinguisher, chemicals are already inside. Merely add water. Just get some water. Well, we have no water in the apartment. Just go out to the hall sink and get it there. Where are you going? I'm going to get some water, like you said. That doesn't hold enough water. Get something that will hold enough water. Thank <laughs> you. 
we have to do is take these pipes, attach them to the ceiling for the sprinkling system, attach them to the sink in the hall, and we're all ready to go. All right, now get up there. Oh, they attached these to the ceiling. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Well, you be careful. Well, I'll get up here. Please. Oh. Oh. But what are you doing? Will you get down? You said to attach the sprinkling system. Get off there. Get off there. Oh. I meant get up the ladder. I don't mean get on a rocking chair. Well, I didn't know. Just get up there. Get up there. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't back me. You dropped my coat. Would you hold this? Fireproof in the office in two hours. And just in time, too. That must be Officer Barney now. You're probably right. Oh, uh, hi, Barney. We finished fireproof in the office. Well, I'm glad for your sake. You know how I hate to give you fellas tickets? Say, if only wife had a baby. Hey, have another cigar. Oh, no, thanks. I don't... Oh, thank you, yes. Hey, and another thing. I'd like to apologize for the way I acted this afternoon, you know. Being a fire inspector, you know, it's a very uh, touchy job, you know, a lot of pressure, tension, you know, and I'm very sorry I got so angry before, you know. But one thing I must say, I'm very proud of the job you guys did. A marvelous job, really. I've been all over the neighborhood, and nobody has cooperated the way you fellows have. Well, we, uh, we try to do our bit, Officer Barney. Good, very good. <laughs> really. <laughs> for a fire extinguisher. What was in this fire extinguisher? Oh, I put a bucket of water in it. I didn't bring up a pail of water. I brought up a can of water. Well, what was in a pail? Oh, gasoline from the can. Hey, <laughs> gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? I could have got blown to death. The entire city, the borough, the whole nation could have gone out. Look at my uniform. A parade uniform. Look at this cigar, a beautiful cigar. Oh, well, Bonnie, it, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. What worse could have happened? Well, it... That's the new sprinkler system you have put in. There will be a ticket for attempting to pass off an atomic bomb as a fire extinguisher. There will be a ticket for attempting to drown an officer while in the performance of his duty. There will be another ticket for operating an indoor swimming pool without a lifeguard. There will be another ticket for putting gas into a machine that has no wheels.